if you watched last week's video, you know that I went and got my tattoo redone slash touched up and because I have a photo shoot in about a week since the day I got it, I was going to try a method of healing that I haven't done before, which is the Tagaderm, which I've heard and seen a lot of on the internet, so I thought I would document the healing process and see how it differs from my usual method. Because Amazon has been extra stupid this week, which I'll probably make an entire rant video about later, I now have to go to CVS at 9.30 at night to get some Tagaderm to put on my tattoo. So now I'm just going to wash the tattoo really quickly with the antibacterial soap that I you just saw me get. Uh, it's always really important to, before you wash your tattoo, wash your hands too, because otherwise you're kind of defeating the purpose of washing the tattoo with dirty hands. But I always use cold water because... I don't know, that's just always what I was taught to do, and then just gently rub in little circles to make sure you get it all clean, and then rinse it again with cold water. Um, and then when it comes to drying it, you should always use a clean, usually a paper towel, but because I didn't have a paper towel on hand, I'm going to use a washcloth which is brand new fresh out of the pack so I know it's not dirty or contaminated by any kind of gunk so I'm just gonna pat here to dry it some you don't want to rub because that's just not good at all so just pat it dry and then you will be all ready you can put on the tagaderm Okay, so now we're actually going to put the Tagaderm on. I got the larger size, and this is what it looks like because the area that I got tattooed is actually larger, and I didn't want to put a bunch of little tiny stickies all over my arm, so I went with the bigger one. And if you can see here, it's completely sterile. It's in that pack, and then it's got a sheet protecting the front and the back. So you just peel this off here, and then you'll be able, that's the sticky part, obviously, that was stuck to the back. And then you just press it onto the tattoo, like this. And then once you get it stuck on and lined up, you wanna press from the center and then move your hand, guide it outwards to make sure that all of the bubbles and wrinkles have been pressed out. You don't want any of those in there. You don't want any gaps where anything is showing or able to get in between where you have the tegaderm and where your tattoo is. And then you just remove the outer peel here. And apparently I have a lot of difficulty with this for some reason. And then once that's off, you're going to go back and you're going to make sure all the corners are pressed down and that you haven't missed any spots where the tagaderm is actually on the tattoo. So just go over it one or two more times to make sure everything is tightly sealed in and that the corners are pressed down because when you pull that stick from around the edges, it will pull up some of the corners. So just, like I said, make sure you go back over them. And I actually ended up needing two of them just to make sure that the whole tattoo is covered. So I put another one horizontally across the top. So that also covered the top of my tattoo, but it also helped to hold down the first tagaderm that I had put on so that I wasn't really worried about those top corners pulling. Because when I took the first tagaderm and put it on, I did have 
the top two corners were kind of curling and when I was pressing it it kind of just stayed a little bit curled so I put the second one on I probably would have put the second one on even if the tattoo wasn't that so it's day one with the tagaderm I put it on last night and you can already see here that it's starting to peel up here and over on these edges which doesn't really bode well for the fact that I'm supposed to leave this on for three days. Um, I didn't sleep last night and I haven't done anything strenuous today. I went for a walk and we're already peeling like that. So I'm really kind of worried about what's going to happen when I actually sleep with this on or do anything more physical than... A little walk around the block so I guess we'll just have to wait and see okay so it's been about 48 hours with the tegaderm on my arm and like I showed you guys yesterday there's still some kind of loose bits around the edges but not any more than were there yesterday as far as I can tell but I have noticed there are a lot more wrinkles in the middle um, but so far that doesn't seem to be a problem and I'm really hoping that it will hold up for the next 24 hours so that I can pull it off on day three and do a reveal then on how it worked okay so I'm gonna show you guys a post bath update on the tegaderm it stayed on really well there's no really any difference than the last update I showed you. There's no water or anything that got through and I'm actually really impressed with the way it stuck with me actually having to take a bath instead of a shower. It's day three which means I can finally take off the tagaderm and you know it's not any more peeled off than it was after day one so I'm kind of afraid this is gonna hurt but let's see that's well, not that bad okay I lied stuck in my arm here let's just pull that like a band-aid then Oh my gosh, I can't even get this corner up. Come around this way. Okay, that's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little unscented lotion on there and then I will show you guys. But it's not scabbed or flaky. And I think I have found my new favorite healing method. So that was three days of Tagaderm on the new tattoo. No scabbing, no peeling. It's all healed over. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.